Hello and welcome back to American Marksman, y'all. And as you may be able to notice, things have changed since the last video that we did in this game, and that is thanks to the amazing support from the developers. Now, I do want to let y'all know that we are going to be giving away some in-game resources at some point very, very soon in this game. So if you want to stay as up-to-date as possible on that, make sure you are subscribed and have those notifications turned on. Now, before we go any further, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be trying out both of the vehicles to see which one is better and really if there is a better choice maybe there is maybe there isn't I've never driven either of them before so we're gonna attempt to find out in this video today but go ahead and let me know in the comments down below which one is your personal favorite now if we go into the vehicles and we go to the dealership you can see that we have the four-wheeler right here and then we also have the c10 right here so we're gonna go ahead and buy both of these vehicles and we've got this one and then now we're gonna go and buy by the other one so we've got both of them taken care of and then let's see we're gonna fully upgrade the engine to stage five and we actually oh i see so we need to start down here we got it maxed out and then paint wise let's see do we want to leave this red or do we want to hmm, i'm not sure i mean let's see we could go really whatever direction we wanted to go i like the really bright red i mean i think it looks pretty sick so we're gonna go ahead and apply that and then now, okay, it's like a little bit more, uh, like a little bit brighter than it was before. So now, let's go over to our four-wheeler, and let's see. We're also going to upgrade this thing to stage five, and let's see. Paint-wise, this one we're going to maybe do a nice, like, super bright blue. That looks pretty sick. I dig it. And now, we're going to have the chance to test both of these out. So if we go over to a hunt, and we go to free hunt, we're going to actually, let's see, we could buy new land, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to play offline, and we're going to see what these vehicles are like to drive, and if and if and what kind of differences there are between both of them. Now, as we pack up, I think it's worth letting y'all know that I have not driven either of these before, so we're going to be experiencing these together for the very first time they're gonna be they're gonna be interesting i'm very curious to see if they drive similarly to the driving in off-road outlaws or if it feels um really different so let's see got our four-wheeler right here beautiful i love it so let's go ahead and hop on and oh dude this thing is so sick oh look at that look at that oh god all right hold on one moment let's see if we can wait a minute Oh, that's legit. Oh, I love that. So now that we've got this thing driving, I can definitely tell you that it feels a little bit different than the driving in Off-Road Outlaws, but I actually really like it. It's got a nice, like, very weighted feel to it. I'm also super curious to see how far it'll actually let us drive before it's like, hey, you're not allowed to go any further. Hey, get back here. Actually, how fast are we? With this maxed out engine, can they still outrun us? Actually, yes, they can. Whoa, that's gnarly. Will these dudes chase us? No, whip. Yep, yeah, they'll, they'll they'll peace out pretty quick. Now, as we drive throughout this game world, I am also reminding myself that we do have to drive the C10 as well a little bit later. But that was actually pretty good for this thing. It climbed up that hill really well, and that was not a uh, that was not a mild hill. That was really steep. Oh, geez. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, we found some lumber. Oh, I bet, I bet you you have to actually get off the four-wheeler in order to grab that, don't you? Let's see. Let's find a little parking spot. Well, parking-ish. All right, now, it, it, hello, excuse me. Yes, yes, please and thank you. All right, up you go. Yes. Thank you. 28. Oh, let's see if we can... Oh, there's no way. There is absolutely no way. Yeah, no way too far out and way too small yep nope not even not even remotely gonna try for that not even remotely gonna try for that i thought about it and i was like yeah this is a horrible idea all right because like i said i don't even have like any kind of scope on that thing yet so it's probably one of the worst ideas i could probably have Ooh, i wonder is this rock gonna be climbable i just i have to see you know i just holy Okay. Well, apparently this thing can rock crawl. Didn't realize that was going to be a thing. I mean, I figured it would be able to climb up some pretty steep stuff, but that's really impressive. I'm very impressed by that. 
Now, I'm sure that once you get far enough out, you'll probably run into sort of a, like a forest of doom or like a woodland of doom where the map doesn't let you go any further. Although, I've never been to the edge of the map. It looks like this is probably the edge of the map. I would imagine that, see where the woods gets really, really dark out there? I would imagine that that's what the actual edge of the map looks like. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like, hey, hey, dummy, why are you going this far out? Return to the play area. And I'm like, yes, I understand. Oh, yep, you heard me, didn't you? You absolutely heard me. Well, apparently you are, you are gone. You are not interested in my shenanigans, that's for sure. Let's see what we got going on up here. All right, is there anybody chilling out, milling around? Oh, what the? Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, this is what I meant to do. Where are we looking? Is there anything around us? No, probably the uh, probably the noise of the four-wheeler scared everybody off. Now, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to return to my farm. We're going to swap out for the Chevy, and we're going to see how that drives. Because I've never driven that thing before. Literally whatsoever. So this thing, I have a feeling it might be faster. I'll be a little bit disappointed if it drives the same. I'm well, not disappointed, but like a little bit more like, you know... It'll be fine, it'll be whatever, but if it drives exactly the same, I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. Well, because I'm kind of expecting or at least hoping for a slightly different experience when I drive it, because it would be nice to have a slightly different experience. So let's see. We'll go ahead and spawn in. Come on. There we go. All right, so there's our C10. Let's go ahead and hop in this thing. Now, this... Already, like, right off the bat, I can tell you it feels different, and it probably... Really? Why do you spawn me directly in front of a tree? Why Why do you hate me? Oh my god, why do you... Why do you despise me? This thing is... This thing feels heavy. Like, it feels like there's a lot of mass behind this thing, which makes sense, because it's... I mean, it's a freaking square body, but, like, still. It almost feels... And maybe this is just in my head, but it almost feels slower than the quad. Which, I mean, I guess, again, that might make sense. But at the same time, I almost wonder if that's just in my head or not. You know? Um, like, is that in my head or is that actually a thing? Someone that has messed around with these vehicles, let me know in the comment section down below if you think that that's, like, that this being slower than, than the quad is all in my head or if it's actually accurate. I do want to bring home at least something on this adventure. Oh, God. Oh, it didn't like that. This thing needs a lift kit. Yeah, this thing definitely needs a lift kit. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, no, I've got to admit, the four-wheeler definitely feels like it's got more behind it. You know what I mean? It feels like it's got more oomph to it for sure. I see something. Oh, I see something right there. Stop, stop running. I'm going to get spotted. I believe that is a bear. And... Oh, my God. What the... It won't fire. Oh, there, there it went. My controls got weird for a second. Oh, my God. Four? Five? God, five? Jeez. That's a lot. Did it really need to take that much? Wow. Okay. See, now, though, we get to experience why it's really nice to have one of these vehicles. Because instead of having to hike all the way over there, you can hop in this thing and just be on your way. Almost there. All right. We'll pull on up and boom, we should be good to go. And now we can go ahead and get this taken care of, I think. Yep, there we go. And sell now. That's fine. Not really too worried about it. $84. But, you know, at the end of the day, I do enjoy this little truck. It's not, like, you know, it's not insanely fast. It's not, like, this crazy lifted monster. But I don't feel like it needs to be. You know, I don't feel like it needs to be in the grand scheme of this game. Because, obviously, this is a different game than something like Off-Road Outlaws or, you know, uh, any other off-road game. But, I mean, 
are you off-roading? Sure, but it's a different kind of off-roading. Oh my god, hold on. Really? I thought I had... Wow, I thought I had that lined up perfectly. I bet you it bounced off of the truck. Oh, how much you want to bet it actually bounced off the truck? Because I felt like I had that lined up perfectly. I really felt like I did. Oh my god, I really felt like I did. There's supposed to be something over... Oh, there's something down here. Let's see if we can get this taken care of. I want, like, one more. I want to get at least, like, two successful ones this time, you know? Because we didn't get any when we were on the four-wheeler. Anything? Nothing down here, huh? Where... Where are we trying to look? Oh, there's something out there, but it's already running. Did it already hear us? God, I knew this thing was loud. I didn't know it was that loud. That's pretty dang loud. Jeez. Oh, we got something over here, too. I don't see it yet. Oh, it's all the way out there. Oh, we got something right here. Right here. Come on. I hope this works. Oh my god, how did we one-shot that? How the heck did we do that? I, ne like, I never do that. I legitimately never do that. What? Okay, well, that's impressive. At least for me, that's impressive. All right, sell now, $88. Sure, that's that's really impressive, at least for me. But if y'all enjoyed this video on American Marksman, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all next time.